This video will cover how to set up safe mode. Safe setup requires configuring a flight mode channel and it is highly advisable to have tuned AS3X on the flight modes in which safe will be used. If you have not yet watched the flight mode setup video, please watch that first before continuing with the safe setup process. I would also like to note that in order to get to this stage of the stabilization setup, you are expected to know how to fly the model adequately without the use of any stabilization assistance from AS3X or SAFE. If your piloting abilities are not quite there yet, but you want to take advantage of being able to configure SAFE, it is highly advisable to have a more highly skilled pilot assist you with the setup process. So now that we've already set up the flight mode feature from our last video, let's set up SAFE. We'll first go to Model Adjust, Forward Programming, Gyro Settings, and as you may have seen before, there's, there's a first time SAFE setup menu. Let's enter that. The first thing it'll warn you is that a flight mode channel must be configured. If you have not already configured a flight mode channel at this stage, you won't have the option to continue and you'll have to assign the flight mode channel. As we've already done it, we'll be able to continue. The next stage, in case you have not seen the flight mode feature yet, this page is basically telling you that the flight mode line above indicates when you're changing settings for different flight modes. And then the last warning advises you to make sure you've tuned AS3X in the flight modes for which you'll be using SAFE, as it greatly increases the performance, specifically in reducing oscillations when having higher SAFE gain values. The first stage of the SAFE setup is basically adding any angle offsets to the receiver to get it to fly at the level we desire when we release the sticks. To do this, we'll want to set the model at its level flying angle, and then press the level model and capture attitude. As you can see, this auto populates the roll and pitch offset, or what we call attitude trims. These are basically trims to the actual attitude angles. In this case, my receiver needed a three degree pitch offset for the model to fly level. You can manually increment or decrement each of these values, but automatically capturing it is a little more straightforward and less confusing. Next step will be how, where we enable our safe flight modes. So as you can see, we have three flight modes. And as you might recall, we had AS3X disabled in our first flight mode, so we won't use that one for safe either. However, flight mode two and three have AS3X set to them. And as you might remember from our flight mode setup, we copied our AS3X tune settings from flight mode two to flight mode three as well. So we can use either of these. In my case, I want flight mode one to be gyro off, flight mode two to be AS3X, and flight mode three to be safe. So this is the mode I'll be using for safe. Under our safe mode, we have two options. We have self level or angle demand, and we have envelope mode. Self level and angle demand basically turns your stick input into an angle demand. That is, if I apply stick input on roll, I'm demanding a roll angle, and that angle is based off of your angle limits. So if my roll right angle limit is 60 degrees and I apply 100% right stick input, I will be demanding 60 degrees. If I apply 50% right stick input, I will get 30 degrees and so on and so forth. If I release the stick completely, I'm demanding zero degrees, so it'll out a level. In envelope mode, we're the model will behave normally as if it didn't have safe on until it reaches one of the angle limits specified below. So it'll basically be like flying with just AS3X mode, but as soon as you reach one of these angles, it'll stop itself until you try to roll in the opposite direction or pitch. For our cases, we'll be using self-level angle demand. And 
we'll leave the default settings for angle limits. However, if you want to be able to turn more aggressively, you'll increase the roll angle limits up to 90 degrees max, and you'll be limited to no less than 10 degrees as otherwise you'd have no control over the model. I like to fly a little more aggressively even in safe mode, so I will set them to 80. We also have pitch down and pitch up angle limits. These also depend on how you want to fly the model. If you're setting this up as a sort of a backup mode to default to, you'll want these angles to be less. So it forces the model to level out more or less regardless of what your stick inputs are. Since I like using the safe mode to still fly somewhat aggressively, I'll use more aggressive angles. And we'll hit apply. Now we've, uh, we have basic safe setup on our third flight mode. As the receiver reboots now, you'll note that the control surfaces cycle through a sequence of movements twice instead of just once as they did for AS3X. When they cycle twice, this means that SAFE has been set up. To verify that SAFE is set up properly, to verify that SAFE is set up properly in the flight mode that you want it to, select that flight mode with your switch and move the plane side to side, up and down. You'll see the control surfaces will move and hold the position based on the model's angle, as opposed to AS3X which only move based on rotation speed. Before flying the model, let's review some of the safe settings that are now available. We'll go to gyro settings and you'll see there is a new safe settings menu here. Let's start with safe gains. Now as you might know, this menu looks very similar to the AS3X gains menu with the exception of yaw, as yaw is not used for the safe functionality. Now for tuning safe gains, the concept is pretty similar. If your gain is too high, you'll start seeing bouncing or oscillations. However, the effect of SAFE is different than what AS3X does. AS3X helps mitigate fast movements from outside forces, whereas SAFE tries to hold an angle. As you're flying and you roll or pitch the model back and forth, if it starts bouncing or overshooting the target angles, then the gain is too high. You'll want to reduce it. If the model feels slow at reacting to stick inputs or somewhat sluggish, then the gain is too low and you'll want to increase it. As stated before, you'll want to make sure that AS3X has already been tuned for the flight mode in which you're using SAFE, as it'll allow you to have higher SAFE gains, meaning better control and quicker movements. However, you should not attempt to tune AS3X while SAFE is enabled, as distinguishing between oscillations from AS3X or SAFE is very difficult. It is much better to tune AS3X first, make sure that's good and not causing oscillations, and then start tuning SAFE. If you need to disable SAFE in a flight mode, you should be able to go back to the flight mode setup screen as we did previously in our flight mode setup video, and you should be able to change the safe mode for the selected flight mode as you could do previously for AS3X. You'll also notice that panic, high throttle to pitch, and low throttle to pitch are new settings in the flight mode setup screen as well, but we'll get back to those at another point. Let's go back to safe settings. So now that we've covered how safe gains work to tune the model, let's look at angle limits. These are the same angle limits that we saw in our first time safe setup, but you can come back here to tweak them if you don't like how they were ended up from the first time setup. Remember that for angle demand mode or self-level mode, 
the limits determine the angle range that you can achieve with your stick input. So full right stick input will get you an 80 degree angle. Full left stick input will get you an 80 degree angle as well in the opposite direction. The same applies for pitch. For envelope mode, the model will behave as if it were in AS3X mode, but will be stopped and prevented from going beyond the angle limits. You'll also see that SAFE has fixed adjustable gain and capture gyro gains. By default, SAFE gains are set to fixed. We feel that the default SAFE gains will be adequate for a lot of models, but it might, might, it might not be for some. If that's the case, maybe you don't want to adjust these manually between flights, but use a gain channel instead. If you're going to do that, you'll have to set each of these axes to adjustable. And remember, this is for the flight mode you have selected. Once you set them to adjustable, you'll also have to assign a gain channel for safe, as it will not use the same gain channel setting that was used for AS3X. To do that, go back, system setup, gain channel select, and you'll notice you have two new options, roll and pitch for safe. If you don't have enough channels to have a gain channel for AS3X and safe, but maybe you're done tuning AS3X gains and all of those are already set to fixed, you can reuse that channel for both roll and pitch on safe. However, if you have an extra channel and an extra trimmer or slider or something that you want to use for safe, you can assign that instead. As with the gain tuning that was explained in the flight mode video, you can adjust your gain, find what works, and then use the capture gyro gains feature. Note that because I don't have a gain channel assigned for safe, but I set it to adjustable, it defaults the gains to zero. However, if I did assign a gain channel, it would be scaling the 35 that I had on roll and pitch by that gain channel. Again, if you want to know how to tune using fixed adjustable gain and capture gyro gains feature, please look at the flight mode setup video. Now when you fly your model and you find out that it doesn't seem to fly level when you release the sticks, you can go to system setup, safe slash panic mode setup, and go to attitude trim. This is the setting that was set as part of the first time safe setup but if you need to tweak it again, you can adjust it here. Again, this adds angle offsets to your model's level position in case there are imperfections in how the receiver was mounted. To increase pitch, you can add a positive pitch value or to decrease it, a negative value. For roll, a positive value will make it roll more right. A negative value will make it roll more to the left. Those are just the basic safe settings that you adjust between each flight mode. However, there are some additional settings that you can also enable with safe. Let's go to the flight mode setup. And as we saw earlier, you can change what modes you set here for safe, but there are three new ones, panic, high throttle to pitch, and low throttle to pitch. We'll cover panic later in a separate video, but let's go over what high throttle to pitch and low throttle to pitch do. High throttle to pitch allows you to add a pitch offset when your throttle is above a certain threshold. Low throttle to pitch allows you to add a pitch offset when your throttle is below a certain threshold. An example usage for high throttle to pitch would be using it in a launch mode where you have to hand launch the model so you don't have your hands immediately on the sticks. By configuring it so that your full throttle also adds a little bit of pitch up when you hand launch the model, it'll automatically climb at the desired pitch angle. Low throttle to pitch could be a setting you set so that when your throttle is low enough, you can make the model pitch down, for example, to prevent it from stalling. 
So let's enable these two settings for flight mode three, which is where we have our safe level, our safe angle demand mode enabled. And then we'll actually have to configure them. So we'll go back and we'll go to system setup. Note that there's also a new safe slash panic mode setup. So we'll go there. And then we'll skip throttle to pitch. Now note here, there's settings for low throttle to pitch and settings for high throttle to pitch. The threshold is the throttle threshold. So for low throttle to pitch, if I go below this throttle percentage, my low throttle to pitch angle will kick in. So let's say I want it to descend when I'm below 30% throttle. High throttle to pitch, the threshold determines what I, my throttle needs to be above for the high throttle to pitch angle to kick in. So if I'm using this for a launch mode, I'll set this at say 90% and I'll add a 15 degree pitch angle. So this means that if I'm above 90% throttle, while in the throttle to pitch enabled flight mode, the model will apply a 15% pitch up angle. This concludes our video for safe setup. If you'd also like to configure panic setup or even set up your failsafe to use a safe mode, please watch some of the next videos.